Hi guys, I'm back and I'm really trying to live up to posting every day. So this video is going to be a pretend um, ink pens for August video. I'm calling it pretend because um, I don't really do a monthly inked thing. Um, all my pens are inked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some pens um, to share as my pretend monthly inked for August. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I feel like it's going to be fun. Also, I'm deciding which of these notebooks will be my YouTube notebook. Um, I want to do that because, um, I mean, I want to write with the pens that I'm going to be picking today for the pretend monthly ink, but I'm, I feel like I'm pretty set with this one. Um, not the Tomoe because I'm also going to be like using the YouTube notebook as like for when I do ink swatches and stuff like that. And, um... I chose the one that's grid, not the one that's plain. I have the plain one too. Um, I just really like, oh my God, the feel of this paper, guys. This is, the brand is Endless and it's a recorder. Um, I got this from Van Ness. I got a few of these and a blank. Because they're using the blank one to um, swatch inks and stuff in their live video one time. Not using it, but like they have ink, um, swatch, swatches of inks in it. Um, so yeah, this is going to be my YouTube notebook. Which I think it's going to be really fun to have that um, exclusivity. I actually thought of using my... Is it B5 by Ferris wheel press? But I feel like it's too fancy for it. Um, it's pretty big. Um, I'm, ex so, I'm so excited about this. So let's go ahead and pick some pens. Um, I've been writing with all my pens, um, jotting them down and stuff. I'm not done yet. Um, I still have um, some pens to write with so i'm going to start i'm not going to show all the pens because i want to save it i want to save that um for the full collection video honestly guys i hesitate showing my <laughs> full collection i have my own reasons but yeah i i am hesitating but anyway the first pens that i want to include are the lilliput and um, I can't pick between the two, so I'm just going to do both. And then um, another one, there's just one more that I want to add, which is this one. Because this writes really, really nicely. I love the way this pen writes. Super love it. Um, these are not Japanese pens. I'm aware of it. But I love their extra fine. Um, as long as they don't write like broad nibs, um, I know Western made pens and, um, European made pens or whatever, they write thicker, definitely more than the Japanese pens, but, um, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to like it. You know what I mean? So, um, the next ones that I want to add are these oh my god i'm so obsessed with y studio pens so this is why i don't do this monthly ink thing it's just going to be crazy because i'm like you know ah, i'm not going to be able to do it but trust me this is going to be a lot um and i'm not sure if i'm going to do this again but we will see um i could potentially do it again in the future and then, um, actually, I want to add this one right here. Jane gave me this pen. This is the first pen that she, she's ever given me, and I love it. Don't roll. Okay, I'll just put it here. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so far. Now, 
I'm going to add some Twisbees. The only thing about this is I forgot which Twisby Eco wrote like it's I mean I don't know when I was when I was writing with my pens I'm like oh my gosh it's I mean they all write differently They're, not everything is the same um let me see which one is it I can't remember which eco oh actually I want to add this one this is the blossom red eco um it's not an eco tea I want to add that one that's um one of my latest eco pens actually I want to include this one too it's just the eco black because um it writes really really well writes really really good so I'm thinking maybe three or four Twisby Ecos um you know what let's just do this I'm just going to add the transparent purple and transparent blue because I love those ones. All right, we're good with the Ecos. Now we go to the diamonds. Um, let's do a couple of Twisby minis i want to do the twisby mini vac um i think this is clear i can't remember and then the twisby mini silver okay those two so we're good with that and then um for the diamonds I want to, oh my God, this is so hard. This is hard, guys. This is why I don't do the monthly ink thing. I'm, it's going to be really hard for me, no matter what. But um, <clears throat> these two, the Iris and Pink Punch. And then um, I want to do... The RBT and Iceberg Blue. And then, oh my gosh, guys. It's going to be a Twisby Fest right now. Um, Crap. Okay, I'll just do two Vax. Um, Iris and Kyanite Blue, I think is how you say it. This is the newest one. It just came out and... Of course, I bought it right away. Um, so we're done with the Twisbees. We're going to give the other ones a chance just in case I do this again next month, which I'm not really sure if I will. But we will see. So far, this is what we have, and it's already a lot. Um, all right. I'm going to get some sailors. Oh, my God. I have platinum pens, too, and pilot pens. Well, because I'm thinking I'll, I'll do like some from each brand. I mean, not all of the brands that I have so far here. But um, for Sailor Pens. Oh my God. I want to cry. <laughs> this is going to be hard. I mean, it's already super hard for me right now. But um, crap. Well, I definitely want to add the Soul of Chess. And then... This one, how do you say it? Ha Hachimonjia, something. This one, my, I love this pink one. And then, um, let's do the sparkling emerald. Love this one so much. And I'm definitely going to add this one. Okay, I was thinking I was just going to do four um, sailor pens. But then now I'm seeing the other ones that I want to add still. How about we do five and add this one? And then the other ones, it's just going to be part of maybe pretend September ink video. Right? 
Ah, this is difficult. Maybe I should just stop here and... But I want to do some pilot pens. Okay. Um, I'll stop there for... Like with the sailor pens that I have out already. How many pens do we have now? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-six. Should we dare to do forty or fifty? <laughs> I don't know. All right, never mind. Um, I'll add to the sailor pens. Um, I want to add this. This is the Sailor Origin something something from Yoseka. And then two, four, six. I want to add the Sailor Pen of the Year, which is this one for this year, 2024. Um, I want to add the new pens that I got, but um, they're not inked yet. And then just because uh, we're going to the platinum ones now. I don't, I, I don't have much platinum pens. I have, I think, only seven so i'll only add two um just because i have been wanting this until before i got it of course um i will add the chai tea is it chai tea chai latte <laughs> sorry chai tea um that and then i want i want to add this i've already inked it i'm so sorry guys i didn't include it in the pen inking video that I was planning to do but um honestly I might not even be able to do that because I'm I'm itching so bad to just ink all the pens but I want to add that one that's my newest platinum ultra extra fine which is amazing okay we're gonna move to pilot pens um oh my gosh which ones are we gonna do all right, we're going to do four, which is this one. And then we're going to do all the, um, how do you say it? Eight, eight, two, three, custom, custom, eight, two, three, something, whatever. I want to do all those because the pilot custom eight, two, three pens are my favorite. And we're going to save the other pilot pens for next time and then for my vanishing point pens oh all right i'm gonna do three i'm gonna do these three and that's it we're gonna stop right there all right um okay guys honestly i want to include everything <laughs> in my collection for the monthly inked that's how i am i can't i could never do a monthly inked like completely do it um but let's pretend that this is my august monthly inked all right we i mean you witnessed me choosing them so vanishing point pens love them um these are all the pilot pens and then i only chose three platinum pens we're gonna put those on the side i need to make more space on my desk every time i make space i just end up um filling it with other stuff start here on the first page so what I'm gonna do is use my cheat sheet right here so I could write the name and the name of the ink this is gonna be a long video crap like in my last video, I was saying I don't really want to um, do a really long video, but it turned out to be 40 minutes because I talked too much. All right, so this is the Caveco. Mm, 
Lilliput. Um, okay. It's my first time writing on this paper, this type of paper. I'm not sure if I like it so far. Because the Tomoe River paper, it um, takes the pen really nicely. Like, um, there, are pa there are paper that, like, um, you write, like, this one, the Lilliput, um, this is a Tomoe River paper. Look how, like, the Lilliput writes way thinner here compared with the one in this paper. So maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should have used my original choice, which which is the B5. Um, what's it called? By Sterling Ink, anyway. Extra fine. I always write the full name of it. I love that. Um, that's why it's driving me crazy how I don't know the name of this pen. I have no idea what the name of that pen is at all. Diamond. This is ancient copper. Yeah, this is really going to take a long time because I write the full name of it. Ancient copper. Um, paper is actually pretty nice. I think I'm just going to keep on using it. Um, it's um, it's very smooth and it takes ink really really well. There's nothing wrong with it. Um. The, the only thing that's wrong with it is me <laughs> because um, that's how picky I am with my paper. I'm very picky. And uh, when I try one thing, I don't like it. I'm not going to use the rest of it. I end up giving it away. But this is okay. I, I think I kind of like it. So this is the next pen. This is the Lilliput Fire Blue. I only have two Kaveco Lilliput pens. I have a few of the, what's it called? Kaveco Sport, I guess. But I do love the Lilliput pens, though. They write really, really nicely. Um, and they're so cute. They're just the cutest pens of life. And um, this one, I'm using Ink Cartridge by... Kaveco. Fire blue. Of course, it's an extra fine. Like, this is completely um, okay with me. Like, the extra fine quality of this pen. I don't mind it at all. Kaveco. Fountain pen cartridge. Blue. I actually like that blue. Um, but I bought other cartridges for... Mainly for my Lilliput pens. Um, I, I think I showed that in my video from yesterday. Or... Actually, I just posted it probably this morning because um it took me a while to edit it and then I did some other things in the house and then yeah I just posted it super late so if you haven't watched it go ahead and watch my last two videos and my other ones too so this is the classic sport not classic sport. Um, what is this? <laughs> I forgot. Um, 
the apricot pearl Coveco sport there you go I love how this writes this this pen writes really really nicely of course all my Covecos are um they all have extra fineness Coveco sport Um, pen. Um, I think it's the Covecos that um, I have not really talked about so much. I do love them. They're so fun to um, to collect, to look at, and I actually really like how they fit in my hand. Even though they're tiny, they're pocket pens. And they have cute accessories for you to use. Um, you have to you have to buy this separately, the clip. And this has a diamine sepia ink. You don't have to write it the way I do, but um I I'm probably the only person who writes the whole name of it. So it drives me crazy when I, I don't know the name of the pen because I'm not able to write it. Is that nerdy or what? But <laughs> that's just the way I am. Um, I like to be specific with my stuff. And I have them all documented, you know. Um, it's written down somewhere what name of the pen is. And then now we're going to do Y Studio. I'm just changing the paper. Oh my God, guys. I am obsessed with Y Studio pens. All right. This writes so, so luxuriously, guys. If you haven't tried Y Studio pens, try it. So I'm thinking of um, changing the ink in this pen to maybe toffee or something, but I I really do love the way this writes. But um, I have more incoming, so maybe I'll just use it in one of those pens. Fountain pen, revolve. Brass. This is my um, very first Y Studio pen or fountain pen. Um, I bought more because I love this one so much. Oster. Signature. By the way, to everyone that don't know my name, my name is Isa. That's why my name is um, Isa Pens and Paper on here. Oh, it's not going to fit. Okay, whatever. We'll just do a three-liner for this one. Yeah. Before I continue, I'm going to write, um, pretend... August monthly inked. Fountain pens. See, I write tiny, guys. And today is August 4th. Sunday. 
Okay, I would write the time, but I can't. I don't know what time it is right now. <laughs> it's a little late in the day, um, afternoon. So, <clears throat> love that. And then I'm going to letter here later. Um, my YouTube notebook. I'm so excited about that. I just came up with that idea yesterday. So everything that I'm going to do in this notebook, it's going to be like from my YouTube video. Like if I'm writing or ink swatching, I'm going to swatch inks in this notebook too. This holds ink really, really well. Why studio? Oh my God. I, I really love this band so much. Classic. So one of my pen pals um, from Spain, she's, she, oh crap, she told me Y Studio is one of her favorite fountain pens and she has really great taste. She's been my pen pal for almost a decade too, so it's like my OG fountain pen revolve. Green. Okay, let's make EF. Actually, this is not EF. There's no extra fine. <laughs> um, see, I'm, I confused myself. Um, so what I do when that happens, I just do this. Actually, I'll just leave letter F there since it's a fine pen anyway. There you go. All right, that's good. <laughs> Why did I write extra fine? Um, I wrote extra fine because I, all my pens are extra fine. So when you're recording a video, you get confused. Oh, crap. Wait, I haven't written the ink. And this is inked with Sailor... I love this ink. It's so nice. Man, yeah. Fountain pen. Ink. See, that's how I am. I write fountain pen, fountain pen ink. Uh, it might be um, boring for some, but this is how I am. This is how I do it. This is how I do it. There you go. Now, this is the next pen. Oh my god, the ink that's in this pen, guys. I have another ink. Uh, I mean, I have another pen that's inked with this ink. Which is ridiculous. Because I, I forgot that I already used the ink. But I love it anyway. It's fine. Oh. Mm -hmm. I didn't flush out the nib before I inked it. So sometimes it skips. Um, what I do is I just try to prime it when I'm inking it. Not sure if it worked perfectly, but I mean, they're okay. They still write really, really good. P, W. See, I write the whole thing. Um, hopefully, when I write with my sailors and my Twisbees, I will start really um, super liking this type of paper. In this notebook um, it might just be great for swatching inks but um, uh, the pen is showing up to be writing thicker than it normally does when I'm using Tamoe River paper so I probably should have used the paper that 
I enjoy, not something, I mean, the one that I enjoy already, not something that I have no idea if I'm going to like it. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, it's not bad at all. I'm not saying that, um, hey, don't buy it, I don't recommend it. This is just me being picky, <clears throat> excuse me. It's me being picky and yeah, that, you know what I mean? So, so far, that's what we've written. I know um, there's some of you that um, enjoy watching a video where, you know, um, people, someone's writing or something on a win. This, this is the pen that Jane gave me, and she gave me, oh crap, see I made a mistake because I'm talking. Um, and she gave me this nib as well, the, um, the original nib that came in this pen is already in a different pen, which is my Esterbrook ST Petrified Forest, and that's an extra fine nib this one is a needle point nib and um i don't really know who she i mean where she got it from i know she told me before but i forgot woodworks fountain pen this is the only thing that i know about this pen that's that it's from this brand or this maker i don't know the exact name of it fountain pen needlepoint i know this is a needlepoint but um sailor extra fine still writes thinner than this and this has tie my Pen ink. Man, it's been a while since I like did something like this, right? Like when, like where I'm writing in the video. So this is gonna take a while, guys. Just sit back and relax, and please stay until the end of the video. You never know, I might hit a thousand subscribers, you know, sometime soon. And the giveaway will start. Oops, I spilled the tea. Spilled the tea right there. So I have all these Twisbees. Wait, um, AL, AL. This is where that is, so. I'm going to just do this to kind of um, combine the shimmer and the ink. So I made it a goal to collect as much Twisby Ecos and whatever Twisby pens that I could find. <clears throat> Most of them you can't find them anymore. Like the cement one, I want that one so badly. Ever since I saw it, I'm like, oh my god. Twisby. Eco. I love this ink too. See, I don't have to match my um, pen with an ink. Blossom red. There's a transparent green, and I want it. But it's limited edition, so obviously... I don't know where to find it. Blossom Red. EF. <clears throat> the very first time that I've tried Twisby Eco, I was like, Oh my god, that's too thick for me. But now that i found my writing style with fountain pens, I actually love it. 
timeline exam purple edition see I'm very specific with <laughs> the names edition so I'm just gonna leave it at that and just put the name of the ink which is blizzard um because if I put fountain pen ink it's not going to fit <clears throat> So there's that and then um see the only thing missing is green <laughs> green find my find your way to me green find your way to me all right now we do the transparent purple this has the purple pizzazz oh i love this pen just, the Twisbees are just so fun. It's my very first fountain pen that I've ever, ever tried. And I loved it right away. Um, I wasn't even into fountain pens back then. I think that was in maybe 2015. Around, yeah, around that time. 2014, 2015, something like that. So, yeah, and I wasn't collecting fountain pens back then yet. I was just curious, like, what are these things? Because... Back in the day, in my dad's office, he had a fountain pen, and I had no idea it was a fountain pen, because I've always loved, uh, I mean, I've always loved pens, um, and I was playing with that pen as a kid, and I was like, this pen doesn't write, I hate it. <laughs> um, yeah, my dad's, uh, my dad had a, had a lot, he's a businessman. He had a shoe factory, he had a lot of different businesses. So like people would give him gifts. And I think the fountain pen that I found on his desk one day uh, was a gift because he never used it, man. I even had my own um, typewriter back then. I wish I still had it now. It would have been vintage already. I mean, I'm not, not really. Yeah, I'm not a vintage person, but I love vintage things. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to write extra fine. It's obvious that it's extra fine, but because um, it doesn't fit. But yeah, I wish I had that typewriter still right now. Because I love that typewriter. I carried it everywhere. Um, Shimmertastic. Man, I would just go to my dad's office and see if I can, if there's, like, um, any pen or paper that I could steal. I would just take it. He wouldn't mind it. Um, he know he, he knew I loved pens. Um, even though he didn't really care. Fountain pen, ink. But yeah, that fountain pen, I was like, how come it's not writing? I hate it. I hate this pen. This is the worst pen of life. And, you know, me being a kid, not knowing it's a fountain pen that needed ink. It's just funny to think of. Twisby. Eco fan pen. Are you guys enjoying this? Do you guys like videos like this? Like, you know, writing with fan pens and stuff. Um, I'm supposed to do a what's it called? Um, like penmanship tip or something like that. I just write the way I write. Um, honestly, I, like in my grade school back in the day, it's an all girls Catholic school. Um, and we were all like into writing. We, we've, 
we were doing, like we were pen pals, you know, um, me and my classmates, me and my batchmates, whatever. We were writing to each other all the time. Hold on, let me write what this is. Did I mind? Oh, crap. Never mind. I'm just writing found pen ink. First, it's not it's not supposed to be that. Um shimmer tastic. So uh we pride on like having nice penmanship in that school. So even now that we're like all adults, old adults. <laughs> Um, it's still the same. The penmanship is still the same. It's so funny. And, um, yeah, so, I don't know. Um, I, le I learned cursive in grade school as well. And back, back then, I didn't really like writing in cursive. I only started write, writing in cursive as an adult when I started collecting fountain pens because I feel like it's the appropriate <laughs> penmanship for it. For me, that's just me, okay? Not for everyone. Um, I, I see people writing in print with fountain pens. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, yeah. I tried that too. I just like it this way so that's why i'm writing in cursive but um do you guys want to see my print penmanship i know i've sh i've shown it before in past videos but this is my print writing this is my regular penmanship so um what i do um just for it to be you know uh, kind of like a tip thing for penmanship i write um with alphabet over and over again and different words and i find my style my penmanship has changed throughout the years i mean i change it when like i realize ah, i don't really like this so i just change it um and that's been my penmanship for a while now and uh, i actually kind of like it which one is this? The Twisby Vac Mini. So I was I was really serious. Or I'm really serious about collecting all the Twisbees because I started buying all the the Vacs too that I could find. Twisby Vac Mini. Fountain pen, clear, demonstrator. Obviously, that's not going to fit there, so I'm just going to put it here. Ooh! I hate um, making mistakes and having to... Like, erase it and stuff. But it happens. I, I've learned to not get pissed about it and just do something about it. Because in any given situation, the only thing that you can change is your reaction. Ackerman. Number nine. Do you guys like Ackerman inks? I love them. I love the bottles. Um, don't ask me to pronounce these things. Can you guys tell me, um, is, is this German? I'm not very sure. Actually, I have a friend who's um, Filipino-German, and he lives in Switzerland. I can just ask him. He's fluent in German. 
Um, okay, this is the next one. He's a very good friend of mine, and I am one of the godmothers of his only daughter. And um, his wife has became my friend. So actually, they're not married, but yeah, he's a good friend of mine. What is this? Um, Twisby Mini AL Silver. I think this is a silver. Yep, it is. See, that's the only thing that's confusing sometimes when it's like they're all, they all look clear, right? But then, you know, there's a silver, there's a clear. Oh, when I'm writing, you can't really see it. I'm sorry about that. I wasn't looking at the screen. I, I just keep on writing. Sorry. That's better now, right? I hope it is. Silver. Extra fine. This is Kobe. Fountain pen and ink. I'm going to tell you guys now. I don't like the way um, I'm writing on this paper. So I'm probably going to just finish doing this in this notebook. And then this is going to be my ink swatching notebook for YouTube. And then um, for like the like a notebook for me to like write on and stuff I'm going to use one of my sterling ink notebooks because I enjoy writing in them but I am not enjoying the way this this paper is um taking my writing I love this pen so much I love the way this writes okay so now this is kind of see um I love the pen, the way this pen writes. This pen writes really, really thinly and it's um, a little thick here. I wanted to get the endless, the, uh, this notebook with the Tamawe River paper, but it's out of stock. Whatever. I have a lot of, um, Notebooks that I like anyway, it's, it's, so it's okay. Fountain pen. We know it's extra fine, so we'll just leave it at that. And then we write down the ink. Oops. I messed up. Did I mind? Can you guys tell um, what color inks I like? Or what I go for. I'm not normally like a, someone who goes with like red inks and whatnot. I, I'm not into that. Oh crap, what is that? That scared me. Did you guys hear that? It's my iPad. And my other phone. I don't know what they want. And then we do this. Actually, I do have this one. This is pretty new. I did this the other night. This is the Punch Pink. I'm so happy I found this, guys. Oh, my God. I paid more, but... It's fine. And I use a really faint pink ink. And I don't mind it. It's something different, you know? Five eighty. So there's like a 
Diamond 580AL. And there, then there's this Diamond 580ALR. You're probably expecting me to explain the difference to you guys. I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't know. So, um, all I know is that I want to write the exact name. Um, I'm not very technical when it comes to these things. Like, oh, the difference is this. The you know, like... Um, the AL is this, ALR is this, blah, blah, blah. It's fun to know. It's great to know. But, um, like, if um, the information is not read readily available in my face, right, you know, right at the moment, I'm too lazy to, like, do research and stuff. As long as they write really, really good to me, it's perfect. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but um, sometimes I do look it up. You know, the differences and stuff. Um, Robert Oster. Signature. So, Twisby is one of the brands that's not Japanese that I like. A lot. I love it. Fountain pen. Ink. Australian opal pink. I think um, if you watched my old videos or if you guys have been watching me, you would have seen me swatch this ink in a different video. I did um, like it was a haul and then I, I was swatching inks and um, this is part of it. So I am thinking we conclude this page full it's not going to probably not going to fit whatever pen. well we can try uh let me see what ink did i ink this oh it's right there yeah it's too long okay yeah it's not gonna fit here so i'm just going to move on to the next page and then i need Okay, this is too thick for that. I'll just use this here. There you go. My next one is this pen. I got this from Muse Pens. Guys. Um, oh my god. It's already almost an hour. I am seeing my, the time in my recording. Holy crap. See, I told you it's gonna be a long ass video, so you better re you better be ready for it. RBT Twisby. Hope you guys stay till the end. You know of this video. Yeah, it. Oh my God, this is writing really thick. It. This is not <laughs> the way this pen writes. Um, this is not the best paper. Hmm. Why did I pick this? 580. See, it's it says A L. And then R. Do you know what R B T means? Well, this one I know. Red, blue, transparent. It's the perfect Fourth of July um fountain pen. Um, pen, extra fine, limited edition. Hopefully all my um, hauls come in tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. And then I can film one last haul video. And then I can do a fall, a full fall. <laughs> I can't talk while I'm writing. A full collection video. Diamond industry. So I don't dare um, put shimmery ink 
in any of my diamond Twisbees. I don't want to go through the hassle of, you know, getting stressed over something that won't work. So I found them. I mean, if it was like a broader nib, yeah, okay, maybe it'll take it. But I only have extra fine, and that's all I want. And that's one of the reasons why I collected the Eco pens. It's because I've always had shimmery ink in my pastel pink Eco. From I mean, I got that years ago, probably 2018 or something. Um, I've had it forever so i've always had a shimmery ink in it and there was never a problem hold on i forgot to do this one crap now it's not aligned with all the ecos you guys didn't tell me i'm blaming you all it's your fault but anyway i'll i'll just do it right after the rbt and this is just the Eco Black. I love the way this pen writes. And uh, I, I don't like this paper that I'm using right now. <laughs> we're just going to continue it. And next month, I'm going to do one in a Sterling 8B5. I think that's going to be a better option for this. Twisby Eco. Black. Extra fine. This is not a limited edition. Forgot the name of this ink. Trying to look. At my cheat sheet here. Oh, I knew it. Sparkling Shadows. I was thinking it's probably the Sparkling Shadows one. And it is. So this is the Dye Mine. It's just the perfect ink for this. Because, you know. And I am thinking of using... Or, um getting a black ink I made a mistake again putting the shimmer tastic last but it's okay sparkling shadows How do you guys feel about a super long video like this one? Hope I'm not boring you. Alright, now let's go back to Twisby Diamond. Starting to get hungry. Um, I fast as for as much as I could. But I've been loving eating lately. Okay, this ink is more vibrant on this paper. Diamond. Five eighty AL. See, this is AL, not ALR. Fun pen.
Cinderella slipper. There you go. And now the backs. Love these ones. Um, crap. It fell. <laughs> Just on the side. Where are the back ones? There it is. Um, so this is the iris. And I love the ink that's in it. This is... Yep. I love the way this pen writes. Even um, my, like, not the vac iris, the other one, the diamond. But I don't like the way it writes on this paper, really. I, this is driving me crazy. I'm probably going to redo this in the Sterling Ink notebook. But, um... That way, you know, I have all the pretend monthly inked um, stuff in the notebook. I love writing anyway, so I don't mind it. Limited edition. I don't like this paper at all, guys. Oh my gosh. Let's get to a thousand subscribers already. And um, if you guys <clears throat> want, I can even include this exact notebook that I'm using right now in that giveaway. If you guys don't mind this page with my writing on it. What do you guys think? I already have the prices ready, so all I need is the thousand subscribers. It has to be a little over a thousand because um, there are people that subscribe and then they unsubscribe, which I don't get it. I mean, just don't subscribe if you're just going to unsubscribe later on anyway. Two is the... back oops this is the new um twisby back tell me um if you got this pen as well it writes really really nicely And I love, love the ink that I put in it. Why did I buy a lot of these notebooks? Um, th these notebooks are not cheap, guys. It's actually expensive for what it is. It is fountain pen friendly. It's just not my favorite. I'm very picky with every everything. In general, guys, I'm a very picky person. <laughs> and I'm so hot right now, but I can't turn on the fan or... I, I, I mean, I don't want to turn on the fan or the AC because whenever it's on in the video, it's just too loud. I mean, it bugs me. So I'm pretty sure it bugs some of you guys too. It's just a good thing that um, my voice registers really nicely in this, I mean, on this phone. Bass straight. Don't you just love that blue? 
And um, when I was ordering it, actually I ordered that ink with this pen. And I was thinking, ooh, one of these inks, it's going to go in this Twisby. Sure enough, use that one. Love it. So let's go with the platinum pens next since there's only three of them. Um, did I do my platinum pens yet? I know I did. So it's in a smaller paper. Let's see. I had to cut it because I made a mistake on some of them. Um, oh, I haven't written. Oh, no, I did. Yep. Love the ink that I put in this, guys. Um, this is uh, one of my new pens that I showed in my previous video. And, um... Okay, I'm just trying to observe the way this pen writes on this paper. I inked it yesterday because um, I wanted to um, include it on the paper where I wrote all my, um, I wrote with all my platinum pens. So you'll see it here firsthand what I ink this with. I don't know how to say that. White. This has 14K nib. Um, Ultra. I love Ultra Extra Fine. Fourteen K gold. Okay, I was I wanted to write nib, but won't fit. Um, do you guys like Kobe inks? Kobe found pen ink. Number eight one. What is this? Urban blue. I love the grayish, um, I'll just do this, whatever, the grayish blue effect. Love it. Um, I've been really into that. So this took me a long time to acquire it because um, nobody had the, I mean, nobody had it with extra fine nib anymore. But Muse Pens, they switched it um, with an extra fine nib because they had a medium. And I don't know which pen this came from. Um, I don't know. If it came from another pen like this, then I don't know why they had to switch. <laughs> I forgot the story. but It's pretty cool that they did that. I can't wait to meet them. They're going to be at the um, pen show ne um, this month. 3776 centered. I can't remember um, if I counted how many pens I took out for this pretend monthly ink thing. Hope you guys like it. It's fun, right? I mean, I'm having fun. Shape of heart. Try latte. I really love writing with all my fountain pens. 14. 
sixteen K extra five and then limited edition. See some of the pens will just really have a long super long name. But I don't mind it. This is pro this I think this is why the Sterling Ink B5 notebook would be perfect. Robert Foster. Signature. This is Melanty, and I love it. And um, the thing with the um, these pens, the Century, the 3776 Century, um, it can hold your ink in there for like two years. It won't dry out because of the, you know, I'm not really good at explaining, but, but there's something there that kind of seals it and stuff. So... Yeah, you, you probably know better than I do, but yeah. That's it. And I'm putting it back in the case. Which one is this? Oh, this is a pilot pen. Is it? Yep, this is a pilot pen. I thought I had a... I thought I had three platinum pens out. I guess not. Okay, well, we'll just stick to whatever we have now. We'll do this. Um, all right, let's do it. Let's do the pilot custom. This one I don't need cheat sheets because I know what they are. Um, let me make sure I got it right though. Yep. Okay. So, oh my god! As soon as I like, this is my first pilot custom pen um pilot Kessler 823 and became my favorite instantly oh my god this ink smells so good so i said oh my god are there other pilot custom 823 pens and sure enough so i got the smoke one and also the transparent one This transparent one I got from Pensachi. This is like a whatever. And transparent. And they don't have extra fine, which I don't mind the fine nib. It's fine. Okay, whatever you do. Handmade fan pen ink. Smells like coffee, right? Oh my gosh, love the way that ink writes with that pen. So let's move on with the amber. I'm trying to do it fast now. I mean, this might be a two hour long video. Um, pilot. Custom. Eight, two, three. You know, guys, um, 
we practice our cursive, our print, and whatnot, don't forget to practice your numbers. Fine. And this has KWZ. So this ink instantly became my um, favorite as well. And this is just going to be the forever ink for this pen. And um, the smells like coffee for the other one. And this one is honey. I had a um, brown ink um, obsession for a while. I think it's a brown ink kick. Something, something. Uh, this is the smoke one. It's kind of confusing between these two, huh? But um, you can see how the Pilot 823 has a longer bottom right here because you have to twist it or to untwist it to fill it with ink. And this is the 743. Love this pen so much. This one has a blue ink, so it's different from the other two. Okay, and this has the Mont Blanc. It's not going to fit there, so I'll just put it here. Midnight Blue. <clears throat> so this one, I think I'm just going to try to make it fit down here. Um, let's see our pilot cheat sheet. Seven four three. I'll just do black gold trim. Love the way this pen writes. Does this say like how many carats or something? No, it doesn't. Um, extra fine. Let's just write E F. And this has a diamine ink vent. I inked this pen and the verdigris one with the same ink, just to see how different they write. Because um, my verdigris one has a falcon nib, which I'm not crazy about, but I, I don't mind it, it's fine. Green edition. Mm, okay, we'll make it fit here. Seven. 
You guys, I showed my um, nail girl my YouTube videos. Uh, not all of them, just the beginning because I told her, oh, you know what? I show my nails in my videos. <laughs> my YouTube videos. I make videos because um, <clears throat> I love to write. And I told her that. That's why I told her because I used to have really long nails and I couldn't write with long nails. So I told her I need my nails really short because I write all the time. And she's like, oh, I love your long nails. I'm like, no, no, no. Let's cut it short. Pilot. Vanishing point. I love this ink, too. Extra fine. I'm not sure if this pen is limited edition. You like how like I'm doing this, but then I'm talking about other stuff. <laughs> I don't know, but um, it's just for fun. Take take away the board boredom from you, because this is such a long ass video. I don't know if you guys can last until the end. Um. Whatever, I'll just write the whole thing down. We're almost there, though. Almost done, guys. Stay with me. Bluegrass Velvet. Do you guys like um, Ferris Wheel Press Ink? I like them, but um, their shimmery inks don't work with any pens that I have. So now this is Pilot. Vanishing Point. I ended up inking this yesterday and I used the cartridge. Um, and now I wanna use Pilot cartridges in all my Vanishing Point pens. I have to find where to get them. Um, if I don't find them, I'm just gonna flush out or find a way to transfer all those Pilot inks in the cartridge that cartridges that I have, transfer them in a, you know, in a bottle or something. Um, we'll see what happens, but I have a lot of inks anyway, so maybe I'll just flush it out, um, rinse it, and clean it. I already had that idea when I couldn't find online where to get empty pilot cartridges. Pilot vanishing point. I have, um, and then, um, I have 
ink this with the Konpeki anyway. Um, I said I wasn't going to, but it's just a really pretty blue. Pom -pom. Gold stripe. Gold stripes. I can't wait to redo this in a um, sterling ink B5. 21K gold nib. Guys, I love this pen so much. Um, Itoya exclusive. And then this is the pilot Yoro Shizuku. So far, this is the third page in this notebook. <laughs> and fountain pen. It's so freaking hot today, dude. And Konpeki. All right, there you go. So now the sailors, oh my God. <clears throat> Let me rearrange this because there you go. Now, okay, mm -hmm. all right. <laughs> my reactions are crazy. But um, I don't think I've written sailor pens in one of these A4 size Midori. Midori paper things. Let me see. Now everything's like mixed up now. Twisby, Twisby, Pilot, Platinum. And then I was doing this, and then I'm going to write all my Kavecos with my Kavecos. Empty spot right there. Alrighty. Page three of my Tuesday. Might end up giving these paper away. Um, wait, what are we doing? Sailor. Right. Um, hold on, guys. I have three pages of sailor pens here. So here. Um, there's the sparkling emerald. And I need the, what's the name of that? Soul of Chess, right there. We're almost done, guys. You excited for this video to be over? <laughs> I kind of am, because I'm really hot. It's so hot today. And then I'll probably redo this writing right after. We'll see what I'll do. Pro gear. As soon as I saw this um, soul of chess, I was like, that, that pens for me. I really want it. Um, sailor pens. Oh, my God. It's my favorite. Soul of Chess, Extra Prime. Limited Edition. Guys, don't forget to tell me what you think of this pretend, um, Inked, monthly inked, pretend monthly inked. Jaimai. Fountain pen. Ink. I don't like the way this is writing here. 
I can't wait to finish. Guys, I can't wait to finish this because I um, can't stand this paper. And then this one is Sailor. Is it Hachimojia or Hachimonjia? Because um, from like w the seller's page where I got this from, it's Hachimojia. So that's what I wrote. But I know you guys have this pen too. I mean, not everyone, but a lot of people have them too. This is a really long name. I even get confused too. Flat top. Half transparent. The ice in my water already melted. <clears throat> Sakura pink. With Sakura logo. Can you tell I'm like rushing? <laughs> Embossed. Um, 21K Mib Extra fine Limited edition Okay, so that's the Sakura What is it? logo embossed there it's not the typical like flower thing that you usually see but that's a sakura um flower backer box fountain pen ink mother All right, so that's that. Oh, uh, where does this go? Oh, there you go. I'm just putting it back in the box because there's a lot of pens in front of me. Um, and now we go with the Every Rose Has Its Thorn. It's one of my latest sailors. Um, love this. And as soon as I saw this before, I'm like, I want that pen so badly. There's no extra fine. <clears throat> but I got the one with a fine nib, and it's it writes really good. I love the um, ink in this pen, too. And I love that this is a Pro Gear, not a Slim. I prefer Pro Gear Large more than the Slim. Oops. Gosh. Whatever. <laughs> Fountain pun. So guys, um, let me know if um, you don't mind me including this notebook in the giveaway. That I'm going to be doing once I reach the thousand subscribers. Love. 
love this ink so much that I have two bottles, which wasn't intentional. It's like um, I ordered it and then I was waiting for it to come and then I placed another ink order and I'm like, oh my God, I love this blue. It's so nice. Little did I know, I already ordered it and then I got to, but I don't mind it. <laughs> It'll be easier for me to like share samples with pen pals. Um, this one is Moss. Love this one. Has a fine nib as well. The only thing I don't like is that the ink is, um, see those, like the lines on the nib? It's in there. And it's kind of difficult to clean it, but oh well. I'm saying it's kind of difficult to clean it just because if, if you wipe it, you know, like some of the ink that's already in there will come off too or get on the whatever you're using to clean it with pro gear slim i can't believe my phone's not cutting me out right now i hope it i hope i don't jinx myself found them Set moss. Koki Ayame Are you guys excited about the giveaway? I'm excited too, but we're not even close. You guys gotta help me reach that goal. There's a pen, a, a fountain pen that's included and it's a limited edition pen. It's basically gonna be like a, a fountain pen starter kit. And um, I have just decided to include this notebook. As part of the prize, dual shading. All right, that's the sailor. Now what? Of course, it's gonna be another sailor. Duh. Um, we have three more pens left, so stick with me, guys. Be patient. <laughs> It's so hot. Sailor Pro Gear. Fun pen. Sparkling emerald. Do you guys like the stories in between or whatever throughout the video? Extra fine lead. Limited edition, so we're just gonna do this. And then this has Ackerman. I love this pen so much. It writes really, really beautifully. I got it from Pen Sachi. They still have it, so if you want to collect all three. I just don't know if they still have the set. This is a blue-green. 
but that's the exact name, so that's what I put. Um, I don't know where this thing is supposed to be here. And then this is. Uh, where is it? Uh -huh. Mm, not the refresh. This is so. It's, yeah, there you go. What did I ink this with? Oh, black ivy. Ooh, Origin Pro. I think it's original Pro Gear because I have one. I have another one. That's original Pro Gear. I'm just gonna do this so I can fit the other pen on this page too because I have one last pen Dynamite Infant Red Edition Black Ivy I don't like the way. Um, this pen took that. I mean, this paper took that thing. Okay, so this is the last pen. This is a fan pen of the year. This year. Where could it be? Um... Not in here. It's probably in this one. Mm. Nope. One, two, three. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Oh, it's right there. Yep. All right. This has a sailor ink. Okay, so sailor. I love the way um, Pro Gear large fits in my hand. It's more comfortable. Fan pen. Now we have a little more space for this one. Celestial Gray. Fountain Pen of the Year. Oh, I doubled up the fountain pen writing in here for this one. 2024. 21K Gold. Extra fine. And this is a limited edition, so if you want it, get it. These um fountain pen of the year pens, they don't really they go super quickly. I'm into them. So I'm glad. I'm curious what would be next year's. All right, <laughs> that's the last pen. Oh my God, I'm so excited. How many pages did, oh, it's numbered too, the pages. Three pages. How many pens did we do? Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. There you go. That's our pretend August monthly inked fountain pens. Three pages, 34 pens. Let's write that down. 34 fountain pens. Total. Let's reach a thousand subscribers. This is gonna be part of the giveaway prize. I mean, wouldn't it just be nice to have my writing with it? And it's my first pretend monthly inked thingy that's in it. <laughs> I mean, if you guys don't mind that, um, if, like, let's say you win and you say, oh, I don't want that notebook with your writing, whatever, that's fine. I can give this to someone else. It can be another giveaway price. Or it can be another giveaway thingy, a small one. So, yeah, um, pretty happy with the pen choices that I made to be my pretend August monthly ink thingy. So, there you have it, guys. Uh, I'm not going to keep you any longer because it's already been two hours since I started recording. Um, thank you so much. Hopefully you stayed until the end. Here are some pens. Hope you um, wait for the next video. Hopefully um, I get to post it earlier tomorrow. All right, then. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. Enjoy this hot day. Um, ha hot night, I guess. Have a wonderful week ahead. And see you again next time. Bye.